of mud. I know, right? Too bad we couldn't visit the Nalamala forest as we have planned. That's one of the biggest disappointments of this year. I had so many expectations about that trip. Me too. Thanks to this lockdown, everything's been ruined. I don't think so. There's got to be something good about this year. Who knows, you might be in for a surprise. Um, surprise? Okay. Wait, guys, I think a meeting is being had. Who is this guy? The greatest tour guide of all time? What the hell? Um, excuse me, I've been rightfully called the uh, greatest tour guide of all time. I've got seven awards for this. Whatever, I think he's lying. This might be a scam. Remove him immediately from the meeting, Rajeshwar. Hey, chill. Why are you so worried? I call him here. Wait, what? Why would he call this guy here? What is he anyway? A comedian? Miss, I'm an extremely respected personality and you are ruining my reputation. As I was saying, I have won seven of... Could, could you stop bragging about yourself for a sec? So I should explain everything. Yeah, finally. So I called him here because you all were really upset about the trip being cancelled. I wanted to cheer you guys up and so Mr. Mother over here will be touring you uh, around the Nalmala forest. Of course, virtual. Mm, guys, are you there? Come on guys, you didn't let me speak and now you won't. Are you even here? Um, oh. Okay, I guess. Well, that was unexpected. Uh, yay. Uh, come on, guys. Your reaction should be better than mine. I, who has won seven awards, uh, will be taking on a tour uh, to the forest, which you've always wanted to visit. Be happy. I'll agree, as long as he stops bragging about his seven awards. What? I agree. So do I. Alright, fine. So, should I start the talk? Yes, please do, Mr. Madhav. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nalla Mala Forest. I, the greatest tour guide of all time, We'll be touring you around this magnificent forest. This is one of the largest undistributed forests in South India and is part of the Eastern Ghats. It is spread across uh, five districts, namely Kurno, Kadapa, Guntu, Mahabhanagar, and uh, Prakasam. It's home to a wide variety of wildlife and a very few indigenous tribes. The beauty of this forest cannot be described in words. And so I'll be showing you how amazing the woods of Nalamala can be. Wait, did he just say show? Yeah, is he going to teleport us or something? Uh, just wait and watch. Okay, uh, you can continue. Okay, so as I was saying, I'll be showing you around the beautiful Nalamala forest. Virtually, of course. Uh, as you can see, I'm here in the middle of the woods. Yeah. Oh my god, he's really the first one! Miss, I'm sorry to say this, but if you keep interrupting me every time I speak, I won't be able to complete my tour. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. You may continue. So, now here you can see how lovely the surroundings are. This forest is known for this diverse vegetation and wildlife. So, you shouldn't uh, really be surprised uh, if we see a tiger or a leopard. Wait, I'm scared. What if we do see a leopard or a lion or a tiger or a... 
Bro, it's virtual. Why do you have to be scared? If anyone has to be scared, it's Mr. Madhav. All right. Uh, excuse me. I'm not called the greatest tour guide of all time for nothing. I am totally fearless. I'm not someone who'd be scared of a wild animal. You've got a point, you know. Yeah. So as I was saying, this uh, this place's wildlife is amazing. You might bump into a tiger, panther, slot bear, wild dog, hyena, jungle cat, langur, bonnet monkey, pangolin, sambar, nilgai, chausinga, jinkara, mouse deer, mountain lizard, python, or a marsh crocodile. Out of the 2,226 tigers in our country, more than 68 are found in just this forest. Wow, that's very interesting. Exactly. Sadly, many people don't really know how diverse uh, and interesting a forest can be. People are so desperate to visit places like Paris, Goa, New York, London, and uh, many other famous cities. They fail to realize how beautiful nature can be. Very true. I don't get why people visit, don't visit places like this. I mean, forests are one of the best places to tour. They're as close to nature as you can get. Yeah, you're right. Now let Mr. Mazo continue. Thank you for that. Uh, now let's uh, go deep into the forest, shall we? Yes. 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 Mr. Mother, I have a question. Uh, uh, what is it, miss? Could you tell us how the climate is over there? Since you are physically present there, you know better than us because it's a virtual tour. I'm happy you asked me this. As of now, I feel a cool breeze as the weather is quite moderate throughout the year. The climate is rather warm. The forest receives an average rainfall of 90 years. Uh, centimeters annually. The winters are usually cool and uh, dry. And the temperature is around uh, 25 degrees. While the summers are really hot with an average temperature of about 45 degrees. The largest river in this area is the Gumlakuma River. Which is like the main source of fresh water for the creatures that near. That sounds so good, since we are missing a lot due to the coronavirus. I wish we could actually be there. Yeah, it would have been way better to view the scenery in person. I know how it feels. Don't worry. Once the lockdown is over, you are, uh, you'll be able to visit the forest with much better knowledge. Thanks to my tip. Yeah, right. That will make our visit much more fun. Exactly. Uh, now let's uh, continue with that tour. Yes. Yes. Now going through this route, it will lead us to, oh, look what we have here. Oh, how cute. It's a tiger. Ah, Gosh, can you stop being so loud? Besides, it's virtual, remember? But still, it looks so scary. Ah, oh, stop being so scary, cat. She's always like this. Continue, Mr. Mother. Right. Uh, well, this is a royal Bengal tiger. As mentioned earlier, more than 68 out of the 2,226 tigers in our country live here. It is a quite dangerous, so we are only able to look at it from a distance. Wow! This is indeed fascinating. Absolutely not! Stop being so scared for God's sake! Okay, we are repeatedly interrupting the tour. Let Mr. Madhav continue. Okay, uh, so let's first get away from the tiger. Uh, Okay, uh, so uh, as I was saying, uh, I wanted to show you uh, Kakatiya inscription that is hidden deep in the forest. Wow, can you tell us more about this? Of course. 
Hey, uh, I did a little research about this, and it turns out that one of the best kept secrets of the Nalamala forest is a 13th century Kakatiya stone inscription. It's kind of like an order that was made by the subordinate kings of the Kakatiya. Yes, that is correct. The stone inscription is not just famous for the 3rd century Telugu language style, but also because the order was given on the eve of a lunar eclipse and it throws light on the customs and traditions followed by the people of medieval times. Wow, that's indeed enthralling. I'm sure it will let us know more about the Telugu people of 13th century. Hey, is that the inscription we're looking for? There's something written on in Telugu. Ah, yes. Here we are at the inscription of the Kakatiyas, which Miss, Ka uh, which Miss Kavita has already told us about. You can see the Kakatiya style of architecture. Okay, so here this inscription actually has an order which was given on the lunar eclipse back then. These images mean that the violation of this order would be a serious crime as killing the sacred cow. Wow, that really tells us how animals used to be revered on those days. And it throws light on the societies that prevailed during the rule of Kakatiyas. This is really amazing. Yes, you are right. As far as I know, we can conclude that this inscription was written during the rule of the famous queen, Rudrama Devi. Yes, that's true. This is indeed very difficult to come across. Thankfully, I was able to bring you here. Now, let's move on. Um, Mr. Madhav, I kind of heard that the Chenchu tribe lives here in the Nalamana forest. Uh, where exactly can we find them? Uh, there isn't any particular place where you can find them, Miss Kavita. They live pretty much all around the forest. If you're lucky enough, you might just bump into... Oh. Oh. Well, looks like your luck is great, Kavita. Oh, I, I totally did not expect that. Looks like my luck is really good. Maybe it really is, miss. They don't normally live at one place, so it's usually hard to find them. You can see them performing the dance of their tribe. Their life is based upon hunter, hunter and gathering. They are a very indigenous tribe. Can we stay and watch? Of course. Wow, they're very good dancers. Way better than me. What are those people doing over there? Oh, I think they're trying to get honey. How do you know for sure? Uh, see those things hanging over the split? Those are clearly honeycombs. Besides, I've seen something like this in Jungle Book. Remember that scene where Mowgli tries to get honey? Ah, yes, I remember that. You are right, miss. Another thing, another thing in this tribe is they are skilled at getting fresh honeycomb, all kinds of honeycombs. This is in fact one of their main sources of livelihood. Wow, these tribes are amazing. They surely are amazing. But sadly, these extraordinary people are struggling to survive in this fast-growing world. The degradation of our forests and loss in rainfall has caused the Chenchus to lose their livelihood in search of work. Some of them uh, keep moving to the outskirts of the city. Also, they are unable to adapt to the con conditions the government is uh, putting forth such as taking up agriculture. This is because they are very used to living their lives freely. I heard that the uranium deposits in Nallamala are one of the causes for the Chenchus being threatened. People from the city come to the forest to obtain the uranium from the deposits. The Chenchus are scared that they might lose their only home because of this. That is sad indeed. Is there anything we can do to save these tribes? We can do our part by spreading awareness in various social media platforms about how these tribes are our tribe. Yes, and you can also volunteer for various NGOs 
which are working to save tribes. To all those watching this, please make sure you do your part in saving tribals who are the children of the forest. They may have different ways of life, but they do have a right to survive, right? Please do not ignore this message. It is a humble message from my, from our students. I'm really happy to see uh, such a compassionate people in today's world. I hope we can make our vision possible. Don't worry, Mr. Madhav. If we work together, I'm sure we can make this possible. Yes. Uh, now it is time uh, for us to make our way back. Already? Unfortunately, yes. It's uh, been a long way home. So we must return back. Okay. Just tell me your father. Oh, God! Close your ears, everyone. Ah! It's a crocodile! Jeez, what the? Did you swallow a loudspeaker? Can you, can you all be quiet for a while? This thing kisses me hard, please. What? Ah, uh, finally. These creatures could be really dangerous. We don't know how to handle them. There are certain techniques to avoid human moves. But for now, I think we have to stand up. So the best thing is to escape the police. Did you see how that thing is casually walking as though it's the king of the forest? Thank God. It scares me how loud she can be sometimes. Especially when she's scared. Yes, sir, mother, what's the chance that we might come across another animal while going back home? That cannot be said exactly. Anything possible is uh, anything is possible here in this jungle. Fingers crossed that we don't find any more predators. Yes, I do not want Dishita to scream again. Me neither. Hey, look what they brought here. A herd of deer. It's extremely rare to find a herd at this time. Please don't tell me you're scared of deer too. Wait, what? Of course not. Why would I even be scared of a deer? They're so cute and tiny and so gentle. Okay. Mr. Madhav, can we have a closer look? Of course. Okay, I think we should get going now. Yeah. So, I'm now out of the forest. Um, what an exciting day. I just want you to know that I have and show everything around the forest as not even an ear would be enough for that. We understand. It's completely fine. This was definitely an amazing experience. I agree. I have to admit, you're an amazing tour guide, Mr. Madhav. We couldn't be more grateful to you for this. Uh, well, thank you, Miss. Every day is a new adventure for me. Uh, I spend every one of my days in forest sanctuaries like these. If you like, uh, you can re recommend this tour to your family friends. It's all virtual, so why not? Uh, you can have a look at this uh, brochure for your reference. Right here. We'll definitely do that. People like you really help in spreading awareness about nature. Thank you so much for this. Mr. has also volunteered us to take on to the Sundarban, the Kir National Park, the Bandarpur National Park, and the Jim Corbett National Park. Wow, I'm looking forward to that too. Are you sure? Because I do not want to lose my hearing because of you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll not scream with my mic on next time. God, thank you for that. Uh, okay, so shall I take my link? I have uh, another tour to link. Thank you for this, Mr. Madhav. We'll be waiting for our next tour. 
Uh, it was fun being with uh, you all. See you next time. Hope you enjoyed this short play we have come up with. Our main aim was to let you know how amazing forests are. Be sure to visit a national park or a safe forest the next time you want to go somewhere. Trust me, you won't regret it. And don't forget to hire a good tour guide. You definitely do not want to get lost in the forest, do you? Also, please don't forget to do your part in saving various endangered animals and tribes. Without them, our world is incomplete. And never stop traveling. Every place on the planet is full of wonders. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.